That's right, folks. I just stepped inside of Charlotte's So Natural, downtown Newton, Kansas, and the girls are getting ready to give us a really awesome shop tour, but this place is incredible. So I just want to say welcome to yet another fantastic Making It Fun video out on the road, Storytime City. We are visiting a bunch of fantastic local quilt shops, and I know you know what I'm going to say next. You also have to visit and support your local quilt shop. So let's get this radical, awesome, natural tour inside Charlotte it's so natural, Newton, Kansas, and have a beautiful walkabout. Oh, they're trying to run away. Charlotte, get over here. I need a, I need a shop tour, please. Hey, Rob, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm Charlotte, like you said, and um, welcome to my shop. I've been here for a few years. I actually started in 1985, so the shop is not new. It's Got a lot of fabric, though. That's what we all want. It has a so, ton yeah. of fabric. So Let's... we've got um, we've got fabric that is very trendy. Right. Watercolor fabric. We've got trendy cafe mm -hmm. fastened fabric, and we've got trendy. Um, who is this? Beautiful day, Corey Yoder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so trendy, I forgot the name. <laughs> right, right. Anyway, we have just a lot of fabric. We have Michael Miller fabric. Have you seen our Michael Let's Miller? Let's go see some Michael Miller. Okay. Now, real quick though, we had somebody that was standing in the background. I don't want to be rude. Shall we uh, introduce your cohort over hey, here? This is Kirsten. <laughs> hey, Kirsten, what's Kirsten, happening? Hey. We're, we're just keeping it real around here for everybody because Maybe. we don't just have the brights and the popular. We've got it all, huh? We have the dark and the dirties. We have the, the soft. The soft. We have the, the cuddly. Bold. The batiks. The wools. We have the bold. That's yes. awesome. And all we right. we have the whimsical. Yes. And that's where I was going because this is one of my favorites. We have sold actually bolts and bolts of this llama. We had a model for a while and it is so cute. And I'm thinking about doing another model because we do have this wonderful cotton velveteen to go with it. Isn't that beautiful stuff? So you'd have a great texture. Listen, I, 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 I'm not, I can't even keep up with you through here. You're going so quick. <laughs> this is amazing. And plus I had to stop and look at the beautiful hexagon pattern on the floor yes, as it's well. A, it's historic. Downtown Newton is an old building. Right now. This and is, we have 1930s reproduction fabrics. So are we in building one still, three buildings this, deep? This is, this is the south building. The main building is where the old entrance is. Okay. That has those big arched doors. Okay. And then... This was a grocery co-op when wow. I first rented that. And when he moved out, I asked the same people own the building is next door. So I asked them to cut a hole in it and I would rent mm -hmm. this. So we did mm -hmm. that. And then we actually have wide backs Ooh. for, we have carried wide backs for longer. <laughs> right. <laughs> most people had even known what a wide back is. Right. So come back here. Boy, she is fast. It is really not an attractive room, but it's got attractive fabric. <laughs> Look at all of this. It's 108 inch wide. And a bunch more to come from Michael yes. Miller Fabrics as well. We ordered all kinds of stuff. This, we have batting on the roll. We have batting, I guess you would call it by the yard. And we do have two long arm machines that we operate most days. Are so. they just for your samples or no, cust are they rented we, out for customers and busy? And No, we don't rent them out. Right, that's we right. You're the... using them to quilt customers. Quilts. Yes, we do. Yes. You forgot something back here. <gasps> we have Michael Miller llama hair. Oh. As well as a few Michael Miller bolts of minky. That yes. Go Look at this. Cotton. All these cotton prints that are back in this room are bargains. Okay. So this is also a sale fabrics. Bargains. Yep. yep, yep, because you know what happens, folks, is we can't say no to fabric. And every now and again, we get a little bit of leftovers. And to make, say, it's like peanut butter and jelly. It, it is. does you, not come out easy. It doesn't. It's coffee and dessert. It just doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Right. <laughs> so the answer is more dessert, always, right. right, to make it balance. <laughs> and we give you an opportunity to get something mm -hmm. at a bargain. Right. We love a bargain. Right. Everybody loves a bargain. Right. I Another building? To. Okay, so we're going to... Don't miss the black and whites. Look at all these black and whites. A lot of them are Michael Miller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, you looking for a job as a promoter? What? This is uh, great. I love this. Yeah. We're just, I have She's one. great. She's got a job as a promoter. <laughs> I promote here. She yeah. promotes you. You don't want to go on the road and carry those heavy suitcases for me all the time and stuff? But we'll gladly show you our holiday. Right. Right. Corner, Metallics Corner. Ooh, Metallics Corner. Wow, the shop goes on and on. Follow okay. Kirsten. Okay, so where are we at now? This is the holiday room. Whoa. Let me just take a moment and holiday out here. <laughs> and we call all kinds of fun stuff holidays. Of course. <laughs> Autumn could be a holiday. Yes, Autumn's in here. At the end of a long, hot summer, you're glad for Autumn. Right, right. A celebration. We've already made room for all that new Michael Miller. Yes. Stuff. Look at this. Oh, look at that. That's are, right. We're ready to you know, go. Can you explain to us like why Christmas is now going to deliver in May? So this is what we're waiting for. We have right. sheets and sheets and sheets of orders of bolts of Christmas fabric. Now, to answer this question yes. more importantly, why do the fabric manufacturers start shipping fabric in May? Because somewhere somebody said Christmas in July. So then we had to have fabric in June. And then it became Christmas in June. And then we had to have fabric in May. And I really came over here to oh, block out Kirsty because she won't carry my suitcases, of course. <laughs> now, I came over here because I want you all to understand the amount of work and the trouble that these quilt shop owners and buyers and designers have to go through. The timing is incredible. It is so far out. You can't remember what you purchased. It all looks kind of <laughs> similar to the next guys, right? So when they come in and they say, did you order that one little Christmas really print? Like, and you're like, mm. uh, maybe, but it is fun. But we also have a lot of preparing and pre-planning to do. And this is why it is actually important that when you're in your local quilt shops, you're communicating with the shop buyers and owners. we do listen. What are you looking for? What are you hunting for? They communicate that back to us. We let the mills know. We start working on the design and it takes a while, but we will do it if you ask. Love it. All Very right. good. What's next? Okay, we have the third building. Oh, I guess what's where we started. Mm -hmm. Did we start there? We're going to start in here. We are That's working. right. This was where we have been buying today. So There's this is also samples. our classroom. Oh, Rob was this today. is our workroom. Mm -hmm. We um, You do workshops? We do workshops. Mm -hmm. Most of our classes are about 65% social about 35% education. Mm -hmm. And we found that the social part seems to be the most fun, making it fun. Mm -hmm. And so we stopped asking people to bring their sewing machines to most classes because mm -hmm. they really just want to sit and talk about it. <laughs> so This is the first I've heard of this. And as an <laughs> educator, I've always been afraid to not let folks sew on something. But how's it going? I have a feeling it, this might be very successful. It actually, it goes very well. We did this, we stopped bringing sewing machines to classes quite a few years ago, and now we concentrate on really making the pattern crystal clear. Mm -hmm. So if you have the pattern in front of you, and we have our instructor who's showing you how she did it, and then if you come back the next time, and most of them are monthly, so you come back the next month and you have made it and you share it with the group, then it seems like there's like a triple learning process. Right. And you aren't frustrated thinking, I just can't get this quarter inch seam allowance because I'm here in this classroom. I could do it at home. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, and you didn't have to move your sewing machine. So mm -hmm. it works pretty well for us to do that. Um, plus, I am truly a fabriholic, mm -hmm. and I have a very difficult time dedicating space in my store for classroom that isn't for fabric. <laughs> so, so when I had a dedicated classroom, it kept getting smaller and smaller, much like this is because we just keep surrounding the walls and bring out another table. Oh, we have to move right. this table, go right. buy some wheels, right. put the table right. on the wheel. Right. So, anyway, that, but it does, seriously, it works for us pretty well. Now we're gonna have some kids classes this summer, so we will probably have, have them bring their sewing machines because that's important. But really we found that we teach from the cutting table so if the customer is having a specific problem we have them bring it in we've actually had them bring in their sewing machine and say can you tell me why this is skipping stitches which mm -hmm. is the frustrating thing when you have a room full of people with their sewing machines and one sewing machine isn't stitching 
that seems to like kind of set a tone. And so we've avoided that by just not having the sewing machines. It works for us. That's really neat. I'll have yeah. to try that. I, I know I love teaching on videos. I'm not in yeah. the same classroom. I get a lot of really nice emails saying that folks have really enjoyed the videos. They've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, I get folks coming back more and more asking if I'll do, you know, workshops and, and things. So I, I like this. And we, we have started doing that more. Um, I have made slides, mm -hmm. slideshows. So for if we're doing a presentation, I have the slideshow and I share that with the people who've taken the class so they can refer to it step by step if that's what they want to do. Normally we're working with a good pattern mm -hmm. so they can refer to the pattern. The neat thing about the class is you give them different options, different ways to do it. So mm -hmm. anyway, that's the fun part of it. <laughs> right. And is that what you're doing during your Facebook lives and your YouTube live events that you're doing? Is it Fridays that you're doing those? live at one and we do sales and then do. youtube is usually charlotte doing a video on how to do something or it might be a let's peek in on one of our classes and you can see what it's like so then you can maybe join our class next time or mm -hmm. tips like mm -hmm. everybody is doing a flange binding now but mm -hmm. i just have the way that i do it and it might be different from the way the next that you saw it done demonstrated somewhere else so and it might work better for you because we all learn differently mm -hmm. and we all have um, slightly different comfort zones for how we um, approach things so it can't hurt to see how another person is doing it that's just my philosophy yep I don't ever say this was the wrong way to do it I say this is my favorite way to do it mm -hmm. today because actually I might change my mind I'm pretty <laughs> easily influenced because <laughs> i was at my first live trunk show in a long time and what i was doing was this i was hugging people making them very nervous but they <laughs> loved it i got permission from each yes, one of them yes. but that is the thing and this is why again like we said at the beginning of the video you must come in and support and visit your local quilt shops because there's nothing like fondling the fabric in person Absolutely. and being supported and feeling the energy of the creativity that happens in these wonderful places so absolutely and playing with the fabric i mean that's <sighs> partly why we leave these tables down in this room or in mm -hmm. the cutting rooms because like you want to play with these like is this enough contrast mm -hmm. you know online you'd have these two pictures and they might look okay together but when you see them in person you'll say oh hmm this one isn't quite and so mm -hmm. you don't know that until you have them so it's fun to play mm -hmm. and that's the true yeah. Fabraholics dream. Yeah, and that's why I promote the basics so much <laughs> yes. too, because I'm really a strong believer that those basics really help <laughs> all of our. Petting. Other, I can't other, stop she petting. Is, she is petting it. <laughs> it's like I, I just automatically got to pet this. <laughs> 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 thank you so much, Rob, for coming, and thank you for giving us uh, a chance to share our shop with people who may never get to Kansas, but you know what? Kansas is right in the middle of everything. Right and driving across the country. We are not that far. We are right on I-135, which is the interstate that runs north and south. It runs from Houston all the way up um, to just north of us. And we are just an hour south of the big east-west I-70. So um, we're really easy to find. And that website again, please? Sonatural.com. Fantastic. Okay, well, we'll see you in person or we'll see you online. Great, thank Thanks you. Again. Thanks, Rob. Wow, you are still there. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. <laughs> I know, I get a little long-winded sometimes. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you check out a few of the other ones we've created. I think they're terrific. And of course, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the little bell to be notified. I don't want you to miss a moment of the fun. Stay safe and happy sewing.